What's up guys, Austin Brady here, and in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing the iPhone 14 Pro, and is it worth upgrading? Here we have our package straight from Apple. That is looking so good. This box looked a little big for just an iPhone, but I can see why lots of protection here. So here's our first look at the iPhone 14, classic Apple. As you can tell, it's a little bit thinner. They've recently moved towards a more thinner box because they don't want to send you a charging block, which at first seemed great because it was environmentally friendly. People already have charging blocks, but I found myself buying a charging block with every new Apple purchase. The cool thing with this is they've moved away from the plastic wrap, which originally was all around the case. It looked really clean because it was specifically designed to have no creases or edges, but they moved away from that as well. Let's dive into the box itself. We've got two pull tabs here. Wow, there it is. Okay, that is the iPhone 14 Pro, my friends. Pull it out and there's the phone. So we've got a little designed by Apple in California with a reminder that this does not have a SIM card. There's no physical SIM card, which is good to know. Little information packet, the classic Apple sticker. Let me know in the comments if you ever use these. I don't feel like the quality of a sticker is enough for me to use them. If these were a little bit of a thicker decal, maybe I would, but I usually just throw those away. Here we have our USB-C to lightning cables, you can see, USB-C to lightning. So that's our cord. We've got these cool little pull tab connectors. And this looks like it's about a one meter cable. The most important part, some ASMR. I feel like I'm afraid to like get fingerprints on it. It looks so good and so clean out of the box. This is the space black version. So it's a little bit different than their space gray version. I believe that they've used in the past was the color name. I think it's got ceramic glass on the front and on the back, it's got that matte texture. The sides obviously is your major fingerprint area because it's stainless steel design. I actually was waiting for the 14 Pro, silly enough, because I did not like this stainless steel side, especially with like the silver metallic finish that it had on the 13. But this actually looks really clean. I'm grateful that Apple kept with this design and that I came around to it. So a couple things we'll notice right off the bat is just the signature Apple logo. As for the cameras, we still have the standard three cameras, similar to the 13 Pro, the 12 Pro, 11 Pro, all the way down. And the interesting thing is this camera bump may not be noticeable bigger right off the bat but it is a slightly bigger camera bump and if you look at the sides right here and you compare that to like a 12 Pro or 11 Pro like it is significantly thicker right here in the cameras this bump gets bigger and bigger every year as they improve the camera design and prioritize more space for that on this side we've got your on and off button and then we've got your 5g antenna right here we still have the lightning port I don't know why Apple doesn't change the USB-C port like most phones, but they've stuck with that. Microphones as well. And then on this side, you'll notice that there is no SIM card slot where we used to have it. Then your volume buttons here and here, your on and off switch where you can program to usually just turn your phone on silent. Right here we have the speaker, the selfie camera, as well as some more hardware. And then when we turn this on, you'll be able to see the dynamic island. Okay, we have the Apple logo. And there's the signature, hello. Okay, so now we just go into the setup portion. So we can bring this to another iPhone and then just set it up quickly, or you can set it up manually. Um, right here is the dynamic island at the top. I was kind of worried about how this would look. I feel like the notch looked a little bit better than this one, at least with the, this design that they chose. I feel like it's a little more prominent, you know, lack of screen there. But I'm interested to see how I like the notification system. I feel like this is a very unique take on using a cutout for the information that you need up here, specifically the camera. Many other phones, specifically Android phones, have moved to just a camera cutout or an all screen design, whereas an Apple stuck with more of their traditional notch and then now with the dynamic island. Looking great, excited to dive into the review. Thanks guys for watching. If you made it this far, comment below which phone you have, if you've upgraded to the iPhone 14 Pro and what your experience has been. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you could subscribe or like it or share it with a friend or just ignore it, that works too. Thanks guys and we'll see you in the next one.